Hey there guys, Braided is back and today we are looking at another AMV. This one is, oh, I, I fucked up. <laughs> it's a Gintama AMV uh, called Obi Hijame. Uh, I have no idea what this is about. I mean, you guys know my history with uh, with uh, Gintama at this point. You know, I've watched like the first sort of 50-ish episodes. Uh, 40 to 50-ish. I can't remember exactly how many now. I always forget. But yeah, you, you know my history with it. You know, I've only seen a few uh, sort of AMVs and a few fights within Gintama. I have been looking to get back into it, but so much anime is coming out, especially this season. A lot of sort of uh, rom-com animes, all that kind of things. My favourite don't judge me but my favorite sort of genre is sort of the romantic comedies man i love the humor in them if they're not too perverted i love it um and uh, yeah so i'm gonna be watching a bunch of them uh and with that being said i actually let me let me know um if there are any series out there you guys would want me to react to i'm gonna be putting out a separate video to this one but if there are any anime series out there you want me to react to it let me know hit me up send me a message uh put it down in the comments I'll get to it, guys. Um, if it's heavily requested, I will get to it. So don't worry about that. Anyway, let's jump into this uh, Gintama AMV, should we? Shall we? Shut up. Let's go. I believe that's like a Gintama opening bit, actually. When it's sort of doing the title screen. Oh, I love this song. Exactly who you think I am. Who is this? Is their dad or something? It's Edward Elric, but he's all grown up. He got a virus. He crashed. Is he like a big brother to them then? Or is he like their dad? He's got a real sword? I thought he had a wooden one. This looks like it's sad as fuck, man. What's happening here? Oh shit! He's gonna knock his ass out, yeah. Uh, I, get, I get the gist of this anime arc. Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you my guy, uh, my thoughts on this anime arc after this, or what I think happens. Let me know if it's true or not. Guys, straight up got a lightsaber though. And Steel was going up against it and is somehow doing fine. Yeah, this looks like it could be a really sad arc. Like a really, really sad art. Oh shit! Looks like it's got really good fight to it though. I want to watch this. I really want to watch this. This story that it's telling right now through this AMV is fantastic. Well done to the career. I'm getting a few feels just watching it because I know what's happening. Yeah. You can
that looks like that's a really really sad arc i don't know how long it goes on for like uh but it, it really does what what is this what is this whatever um holy shit multiple faces right so here's what i think happens in that arc so that guy was either their father or childhood friend um and t to the uh to the black haired boy and his sister uh, or their master actually probably their master the dojo master um he obviously disappeared uh, from their lives and uh, he was ha basically half killed he then gets those parts uh, he gets all his damaged organs replaced and uh, he then those are replaced with robotics which then corrupt him and he's sort of slowly losing his sort of uh, mind um, with that, he goes back to the place where he, he remembers having the fondest memories, that being his dojo and of the two kids that he was training. At which point, they sort of realise, yeah, no, there's something wrong with him. The girl realises this beforehand, asks uh, Gintoki to kill and put down uh, her master or her friend. At which point, Gintoki doesn't want to do it, but he does it re reluctantly. And uh, that obviously causes frictions between Gintoki and uh, his friend, the black-haired guy with the glasses. But eventually the black-haired guy realises it is for the best, it needs to happen. But by the time he realises that, Gintoki's in the middle of a fight to the death and he feels a little guilty. So he goes up to try and help him, sees Gintoki, is losing the fight, goes to help. At which point the guy that's half robot sort of regains a bit of control and lets himself be cut up. That's how I'm guessing it happens, um, because I assume the guy that's sort of half robot does sort of go on a rampage at some point and starts destroying the town. That's why Gint Gintoki has to sort of take action. But that's just my theory. That's just my theory. But judging from that AMV, that told me a story. That's what that told me. That AMV told me that story, and that was that AMV was what? How long? Three minutes forty two seconds, close to four minutes. And I got that entire story out of it. I felt that bit of emotion. I felt that there were a bit of laughs in there. And honestly, that has got to be one of the most well-constructed storytelling AMVs I've seen in a while. It really has. So props to, uh, who is it that made that? Props to Mr. Sakata 29 Honestly, props. Because all the other sort of uh, AMVs I've watched, story-related, I've seen this. I know the story as I'm watching them, you know? Uh, I've watched a lot of One Piece ones, and uh, I've watched the Natsu no Taizai ones. I've known the story going in. But with this, I didn't know the story going in, and yet I know the story going out of it. And it tells a very, very good story. So well done to Mr. Sakata29. Links in the description if you go, uh, if you want to take a look at this guy yourself, guys. Seriously, it was really, really well done. Thank you for recommending that. Um, I appreciate it. I've been the bear. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Yeah, I've been the bear. I'm going to go hibernate, eat fish, do weird things. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.